Hello everyone, this is Omar. Welcome to the channel. Uh, this is the continuation of our RSCS exam series and we are at question number 14. And this question is about managing network. Uh, so let's get to the question. Question is two part question. In the first part, it is asking you to create a network connection uh, using the existing interface and the interface name is given. And we will be adding the IP address and then gateway in DNS. Then uh, using the same interface, we will be adding a secondary IP uh, in the running connection and which should not compromise your existing settings. So when we add the secondary IP, it should not mess with the IP address we already configured. And it is also asking us to change the host name. So assuming that host name is not correct and the IP address settings are not there, so uh, don't worry about it. Uh, you will be given the access to the console or some way of accessing the server. So even without the IP address, you will be able to access the system to make these changes. So in our case, I have already uh, made the changes and so that we can solve this question. So let's go ahead and check the host name. It's already set to node XX and IP address if we check this ENS18 has got no configuration, no network configuration. Just ignore this one. You may or may not have secondary uh, interface, but we will be targeting, focusing on this one. So let's go ahead and read the question again. So we have to add the IP address, gateway and DNS to this interface. How do we do that? So there is a MMCLI command. If you are not familiar with this one, so try to learn it. In this one, we will just quickly go through it. So this MMCLI is the command line interface for network management. Uh, so we use this command to add the connection. And we mention the type of the connection is Ethernet and connection name is ENS18. Connection name can be anything. You can name it as you wish. But the if name is interface name. So which interface we will be using? ENS18, which is given. All right. And then the question is, is asking for IPv4. This is the IPv4. So we will be mentioning the IP, IPv4 and then the IP address that is given with this subnet. And then gateway is also given here in the question. So we will be putting this gateway. So let's go ahead and add this successfully added and then we will add the DNS I could have run this command in a single line but I wanted to show you how to modify the connection as well so in this case here we created the connection uh, we added the IP address and the gateway now we are modifying the same connection modifying we are using NMCLI we are connection modify. We are modifying the connection. Which connection? ENS18. And we are adding the DNS to it. Alright. So, let's go ahead and check. Now, as you can see, previously we checked. ENS was not having any uh, IP address configured. Now, we can see that IP address is configured. Alright. Now, if you want to go and check the details about NMC align connection show ENS. Okay. So this command will take you into the details and it will show you the configuration. If you can see the IP address is configured, the gateway is configured, and the DNS is configured. So this is how you verify that. Alright, so this is done. In some cases, if you add the IP address, it may not reflect immediately. So you may have to stop and start the connection. I will show you in the end how to do that. So the first part of the question is done. Now we will go for the, we will try to solve the second part of the question. So second part of the question is asking you to add another IP address. So what we will be doing, we will be again modifying the existing connection. And if you notice this plus sign, that means we are adding another IP. Okay. 
So let's go ahead and run this command and see the effect of this command on our server. So let's see this. So when you add the secondary command, generally it do not reflect immediately. Like the primary primary address it reflected, sometimes it does, sometimes it does not. So in that case, you have to restart the interface. So in this case, what would we do? We will shut down the interface. ENS18. Sorry, let me just clear the screen. We'll shut down the interface ENS18 using this command NMCLI connection down and then the connection name. Then we will start it again. It should reflect the changes we made IP address. As you can see, it is showing us the address we added and without affecting the uh, configuration of our network it added another IP address to the same network connection so that's how we add we add the uh, network IP addresses gateway and additional IP address to the same network interface now second thing it is asking us to, to change the host name so we will be changing the host name as well so currently the host name is node xx so what will be host name ctl is the utility we will be using we will be setting the host name to node 02 so let's go ahead and do that and now check the host name it is changed all right so don't worry about that this will show you still like that because it, because of your current uh, session if you reboot and reconnect uh, with the another session, it will show you the correct host name. But the host name is changed. So that's it for this question. Uh, it was very simple and straightforward. Uh, I hope you understand, understand, understand it. If you don't know about MNCLI, I will update the document before uploading the video to give you some references uh, in the description section. So thank you for watching and have a good day.